State aid in the European Union is the name given to a subsidy or any other aid provided by a government that distorts competitions. Under European Union competition law the term has a legal meaning, being any measure that demonstrates any of the characteristics in Article 107 of Treaty on the functioning of the European Union, in that if it distorts competition or the free market, it is classed by the European Union as being illegal state aid. Measures which fall within the definition of state aid are considered unlawful unless provided under an exemption or notified by the European Commission. The Treaty on the Functioning of the European Union reads, save as otherwise provided in this treaty, any aid granted by a member state or through state resources in any form whatsoever which distorts or threatens to distort competition by favoring certain undertakings or the production of certain goods shall in so far as it affects trade between member states, be incompatible with the common market. This sets out the characteristics of a state aid, and states that the award of a state aid will be unlawful unless compatible with the common market, which is achieved either by applying a block exemption or notification. Five cumulative criteria shall be present for a state aid to exist. Almost all state aid is awarded under block exemptions. For example, 96% of state aid is awarded under the General Block Exemption Regulation State Aid was formally introduced into European Union statute law by the Treaty of Rome, which classified state aid as being any state intervention that distorted competition law. The definition was later updated by the Treaty on the Functioning of the European Union in 2007. It stated that any aid given to a company by a state within the EU would generally be incompatible with the EU's common market. Within the new law under the treaty, the first chapter of it defines what is not allowed to be done with state aid and the second chapter defines actions that can be done within legal limits. 1. Save as otherwise provided in the treaties. Any aid granted by a member state or through state resources in any form whatsoever which distorts or threatens to distort competition by favoring certain undertakings or the production of certain goods shall, in so far as it affects trade between member states, be incompatible with the internal market. The intent of this was that in order to avoid favoring a certain company or commercial group, an EU member state should not provide support by financial aid, lesser taxation rates or other ways to a party that does normal commercial business. For example, it would be considered illegal state aid by the EU if a government took over an unprofitable company with the sole intent to keep it running at a loss. However, state aid can be approved by the European Commission in individual circumstances, but the aid reclaimed by the EU if it breaches the treaty. There are specific exemptions to the treaty's provisions with regard to state aid. State aid can be given to parties involved in charity or to promote culture and heritage. Conservation The treaty also stated that aid given in response to natural disasters would be lawful. An exemption was given to allow Germany to provide aid providing the aid was used in relation to promoting development in former East German locations affected by the division of Germany after Germany's loss in the Second World War. The EU jurisdiction is a rare case where specific binding legal provisions were introduced for controlling state aid. These provisions in principle require the Commission to authorize all grants of aid, which has proven to be a difficult if not an impossible task with 27 EU member states. This control may seem unnecessary as most subsidies. Introducing limitations and controlling state aid is necessary to hinder the issuance of excessive state aids which is especially relevant in the case of the union that lacks a strict balanced budget constraint and mainly operates with a single currency. According to Alberto Heimler and Frederick Jenny, state aid provisions are a discipline for member states. However, the Commission may temporarily exempt aids that remedy serious economic disturbances provided they. Disturbance is narrowly and strictly defined. The European Court of Justice further disciplines the EU member states and enforces the limitation. Introduction of state aid provisions would be beneficial for all countries but governments tend to distance themselves from imposing disciplining devices unless there is an international treaty that does so. 
for countries that are not part of the EU. Aid limitations arise from the World Trade Organization agreements which prohibit subsidies exclusively when they are directed to the distortion of international trade as strictly defined. These agreements also recognize what is known as the actionable subsidies that can be prohibited when the complaining country shows th.